Here we got with us Dalton O'Neill, who had a big pin earlier in the duel. And congratulations, Dalton. Question for you. Um, defensive falls, you don't see a ton of them. Is that something that you look for? Is it something that you guys train in that position? How did that position come about, and are you comfortable there? Uh, we don't usually train it, but like we train how to get out of legs, and that's how we train to get out of legs, and just came to a fall. So. And when you get a guy there, you feel like if you can hold him, you can pin him. Yeah. I had him pretty tight, so I thought I had him good. No, and that was a big swing match for you guys. I know that momentum-wise, that's got to feel good. Yeah, it felt good. Wasn't expecting to pin him, but knew he was out of shape and I, I know, was in shape. And I know Coach talks about you been making big strides. How do you feel like your season's going, and and what are the things you want to continue to build on as as you you know run kind of run through January and February? Uh, better conditioning for sure, and uh, working on top and bottom. That's where I'm not too good at, but neutral I'm pretty good, but top and bottom. Top and bottom, uh, I think I need to work on a lot. So, leading leading up to this match, did you guys or were you guys working on the chicken wing and reinforced chicken wing in the in the mat room? Yeah, we do a lot. Of, <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of that. We also do a lot of like tilts, mm -hmm. backward tilts, a lot of top bottom. So yeah. It was all it was all apparent tonight. The yep. definitely the the chicken wings. I I told uh, I told Robbie that. I know De Franklin definitely had to be working on that wing uh, in the weeks leading up to this match. Yeah, we definitely work on it a lot. Now, have you wrestled your opponent before? Have you guys ever wrestled uh, each other? I think I might have wrestled him freshman year. I don't know. I'm not sure, but... Well, you came, out, you came out on top tonight and in a big way, so congratulations to you. Congratulations to the Panthers, and uh, best of luck this weekend at Kiski. Thank keep, you. Yeah, best keep, of luck at Kiski. Keep Thank it you rolling. All. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So that was Dalton O'Neill for the Panthers, one of the, the seniors, I believe, uh, for the Panthers. And that was a great call. I'm glad that you were able to to join for this broadcast and for this for this match um again you know leading up to it both coaches knew that it was going to be a barn burner and you know 40 46 to 19 when when you probably hear that or see it you're like man like franklin regional really kind of ran away with it but you know a lot of those matches were competitive you know and you know a couple things go in the different direction you know the the outcome potentially could be a lot different right yeah, and that's the that's the beautiful thing about wrestling is these guys are going to see each other again. It might be in the individual setting, maybe not for a duel, a you know a, a duel win. But the bottom line is, you take away from this what you can. You evaluate yourself. You ev evaluate your performance. You get back in the lab. You work on your weaknesses, and then uh, you hope that whether you won or lost on either side, you get an upper, another opportunity late in the year, which we know wrestling can be a great individual sport, and you hope you can turn the tides on that at that time when the time comes. But, um, George, thanks so much for having me. Thanks for it was a pleasure. carrying was a pleasure. me throughout the night. <laughs> we carried each and, other. <laughs> and uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you sign us off. Yeah, you know, so final score from Franklin Regional High School uh, Franklin Regional Panthers, 46, Penn Trafford, 19. And I believe that we will be calling the finals of the South Moreland um, Holiday Classic, uh, which is now being held in Monroeville. But I, I think now it's more um, moving from a, a traditional tour tournament standard to like maybe pool wrestling. And I believe we're going to be calling the, the finals there this Saturday. So please, uh, you know, I want to thank all of our uh, listeners for tuning in this evening. Um, and, and then, you know, tune in uh, Saturday for some more action and some more wrestling. So uh, it's George Carter and Robbie Waller. And I want to say thank you all for listening and have a good night.